Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mouse Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past couple of days and we're starting off here on Rancho del Arroyo. Now you'll probably notice that I'm shooting bobcats here with the M1. That is intentional to get these guys down for respawns as I have been grinding for a couple of specific trophies. However, I always make sure to spot everything first and one of the animals I spotted was that nine legendary there. Now, the trophies I've been hoping to get to spawn are either an albino or melanistic bobcat, or a red or a blue diamond. However, this is a brown, and I'm really not disappointed to get one of these because the only diamond bobcat I have is a common that I got on release day, and this is actually the first one on my map, so I'm really, really, really excited to see this. And I also quite like the brown fur type as well, so always happy to see that the grind is actually paying off. So I made sure to come over to him, get a bit closer, and then drop him nicely with the 243. I did also drop the other two cats that you will have seen me spot, but I took them with the M1 just to get them down. But you can see this is an absolutely beautiful looking cat. The brown fur type is really nice on these guys. And he made diamond at 27.60, so right on diamond requirement. But that is a really awesome diamond. I'm so pleased to finally have another diamond Mexican bobcat. I really like these guys. I think they're really cool looking. And because they aren't um, a species that only drinks at night, they do drink in the light hours. It's a lot easier and a lot more fun for me to hunt them. I really do enjoy hunting them more than, say, the lynx, which are purely at night. So yeah, really, really happy to get this guy. Now the next clip is from multiplayer and I just had to include this because it was so funny. I spotted a very pale looking pheasant taking off but I wasn't too bothered about it because I saw that it was a hen and honestly I have so many rare hen pheasants at this point but I saw it get stuck on a cactus and then I made honestly the best shot I've ever made on a pheasant a brain shot while it was flying at 58 meters there with the 20 gauge so I just had to include that clip because it just was such a weird circumstance if I had if it hadn't got stuck I probably wouldn't even have worried about shooting it because I have so many albino hens at this point but that just was so cool now, this next clip is also from multiplayer. In fact, the same multiplayer as that albino hen pheasant. I rounded the corner and noticed that I had spooked something I've been looking for on Rancho since it released, and that was an albino level 3 male bighorn. I have wanted an albino bighorn on my PC account since I got it, and the only albino bighorn I ever shot had been females on Xbox. And I spotted this guy, and he had such awesome looking horns for a level 3. And this ram, this ram was so much of a pain. I waited um, for him to come back to the feed zone I spooked him from and all of the other males came back and they just were there and I waited and waited and waited and he never came back. So I started tracking him, his tracks were all over the place, ended up taking me sort of down and around a bit of a cliff and then as I rounded the cliff he crossed through the feed zone that I'd been waiting for him at and so I chased him back over the cliff again and then he rounded again back up and through but went onto this cliff where I could actually finally see him. And that was such a relief. Honestly, it was probably nearly an hour worth of actually tracking this guy. But I was determined to get him because I've been looking for an albino for so long. And for it to be a level 3 male as well and not a female. And just like, look at the horns. For a level 3, that's a really nice looking ram. And I had basically said if I saw it, I, I was carrying the 300. And if it came to it, I would just shoot it with the 300 while it was while it was fleeing because this is multiplayer but seeing as he was going up this cliff I hoped that I'd actually be able to get a vital hit on him now I was trying to cycle through my guns and I know that I'm a bit a bit slow and a little bit clumsy cycling through my guns but what they'll do is they'll go alert and then after a couple of seconds they turn around and start walking in the other direction and they will then go nervous again so here I switch back to the 22 and then he turns forwards again where I would have been able to get a shot. And then as I go back to try and get the M1, 
Um, he then turns again, so I had to make him go alert. And now I know you can cycle through the guns by pressing up on the D-pad. I just like to go through my slots like this, as that's how I've got it all memorised. But he did actually then give me a front-on shot while I had the M1, and I managed to pop him there, and he didn't go very far before falling over. Which is exactly what I wanted, and it was the end of a very, very long chase. That I was very relieved for it to finally be over, and actually finally have this guy. And they look fantastic. These obviously got a reskin as well with the big horn when Rancher came out. And they do look different. And in fact, they look really, really good. I like how this looks. But look at that tracking distance. 3.63 kilometers. But it wasn't that far. It was just all going in a circle, basically. With this guy just constantly being out of sight. But a really awesome looking level 3. And just a gorgeous albino ram. Now, this is the last clip from Rancho Del Oro for this video. Again, on multiplayer, it was kind of late evening, slowly turning to night. And I like hunting, again, this bottom road spot looking for rabbits and pheasants. But the rabbits, especially at this time, are really, really good as it's getting dusky. There tends to be a lot of them about. And I spotted a level three. So the level three jackrabbits on this map aren't extremely easy to find. And I really like the antelope jackrabbit, so finding a level 3 for me is just as exciting as finding any other diamond. I really like these guys, they look fantastic. And these guys can troll, so it's never a guarantee that they're going to make diamond. But looking at him, he was a grey, which is the same as my last one, and he did make diamond at 6.40, so just over by 0.1. But that is just a beautiful looking diamond. Again, another really, really nice addition for the trophy lodge. Now this next clip is from Te Awawara Multiplayer and it was Seeker Deer drink time and I came down to this spot and there was a couple of sets of max weight Seeker Deer tracks. So I started to look around and see if I could see the animals that had left them and one of them was this absolutely giant big rack level 5 Seeker Deer. I love these. This is my favourite rack style for these guys. It's sort of the more square rack, which is what I've talked about before in previous videos. And I managed to drop him there beautifully with a heart shot from the M1, which was just so good, so satisfying. But yeah, a lot more square than the V-shaped racks I've shown off in some other videos. But this guy ended up being a max weight 215.30 scoring Diamond Seeker. And it's also the Dark Spotted Fur type, which I quite like because it's a lot like the Seeker Deer that I've seen in real life's kind of fur type. So a really, really awesome animal and one that's definitely going to the main trophy lodge. Even though he's not my biggest Diamond Seeker, I just love the Big Rack one so much. This guy has to go in that main lodge. Absolutely stunning animal. Just the size of the antlers, like you can barely get them in the screen as well as the like the body of the animal. Just awesome, incredible little animal. Now this next clip is from Leighton Lakes Multiplayer and it was Roosevelt Elk Drink Time and I have been looking for a rare elk bull for the Trophy Lodge for a long time now. So I came to this lake that's normally very good for elk and the first thing I spot coming from the lodge is a huge looking level 5. Now, I have been wanting to get a Diamond Roosevelt Elk with this specific rack shape. I have the bigger version of this rack, which was on my 413, I think it was, Roosevelt Elk Bull that was max weight. But I like this version where the points on the back are a little bit thinner. I don't know why, I just think it looks cool. So I wanted to try and get this rack for a long time. And this guy was just here. So I waypointed him there because there was some trees in the way and I didn't want to lose sight of where he was. But managed to pop him here in the lungs with the 300 and he wasn't going far after that shot. He actually collapsed just a few metres after where I shot him, which is always really good to see. When they don't run very far, it's always very encouraging. But when I was running over to this guy, I noticed something else. There was a really wonky looking bull on the opposite side of the lake. And we're going to take a look at that guy in a minute because it was just so weird. A bit like that blacktail in a few videos ago that had that incredibly weird rack. I just had to include this because it's definitely the weirdest elk I've seen so far. And I've seen some weird looking um, Roosevelt elk racks. But this guy had collapsed into a tree, so not a great place to try and get a screenshot. 
but he just looks absolutely massive. And confirming him, he is a 394 Diamond Roosevelt Elk. So that's a big Diamond Roosevelt Elk. That's 14 points over requirement. And just, I really like those back times, like on the very, very tips of his antlers. I think they look really, really cool. So I was so happy to finally get this rack style. I just love those times on the very tip that sort of flare outwards. I don't know, something about that. I just find it really cool. So very, very pleased to get this guy for the Trophy Lodge. Now I have to show you guys that incredibly weird bull that was also at this lake. Just take a look at this guy. Absolutely bizarre antlers. Just with that one that just flares out so much more than the other. I have seen really wide bulls. I've seen really weird looking elk before. But this guy just has to be the weirdest of the, all of the ones I've seen. So I really had to just show him off considering he was at the same lake as the, that absolutely giant diamond bull. But just look at that. That is just so weird with how his antler is all droopy. Like, and this sort of thing can happen in real life if, if animals damage their antlers and stuff. And I think it's really cool. I really like seeing the odd ones like this. If he had only been a rare, this would have been such a cool addition to a trophy lodge. Like, honestly, bizarre looking. And now on to the last couple of clips, both of which are from a Tay Abelwara multiplayer server that I ended up getting host of. I ended up making it Feral Pig drink time as I hadn't found anything else good on the entire map, so figured maybe there were some good Feral Pigs. Well, right outside one of the outposts there was this level 5. Now this is again the dark brown fur type, which isn't my favourite fur type for the Feral Pigs. However, I have seen only a couple of level 5s, I've only shot one diamond, and Anytime I see a level 5 feral pig, it is always very exciting. Managed to drop him there with the M1, which is just my favourite gun for these guys. It's such a big gun for them. And on the ground, his tusks look pretty decent. And when I picked him up, he is a monster diamond feral pig at 154.50. 144.20 is the diamond requirement. And my last one was right on that diamond requirement. This guy is absolutely monstrous. So even though it's not my favourite fur type, that has to go in the main trophy lodge. What an absolute hog of a hog. Just massive. So I was really, really, really pleased to get this guy down. Not max weight, only 201.31 kgs. But even for that, it's just a really, really big pig. So I wish their tusks were a little bit more impressive, honestly. But I really can't complain at getting a pig that size. And on the same server, I came to the other side of the map to look for feral pigs. I picked up that black gold track and thought, ah, it's max weight. Wouldn't that be cool if that was a level 5? It was a level 5. <laughs> Le like, the black gold feral pigs are one that I have really wanted to get diamond of. Now, the black gold is not rare for these guys as it, as it is for wild boar, but it just looks really cool. This fur type and the brown hybrid with the sort of lighter and darker patches are both my favourite fur types for these pigs. I like them both equally, so this was just a dream animal. And with that estimate of 143 to 174, he only had to be just over his minimum to actually make diamond. So I was really, really hoping this guy was not going to troll me, because on this same server, I shot a troll feral goat that had one of the biggest estimates I've ever seen. It was like 202 to 230, and it scored 202. So as soon as this guy gave me broadside, I dropped him, and it was at really close range, and with double lung from the M1, it does drop them and he landed beautifully so I thought I'd grab a screenshot of him because these guys really are a beautiful looking animal and when I picked him up he did make it at 147.50 a black gold diamond feral pig one of the coolest diamonds I've shot for a while like I said it's not a rare fur type for these guys but it really does look awesome so really really happy and another main trophy lodge addition that is going to be it for this video guys, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Some really awesome trophies that I've been really looking forward to sharing with you guys in this one. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it and thank you so 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 much for watching and for all the support on my channel. I really do appreciate it and as always I'll see you guys in the next one.